Channel 5 newsreader Dan Walker was hugely popular on Strictly when he and pro partner Nadia Bychkova shimmied around on the dance floor in 2021. However, he acknowledges that others have had horror experiences on the show, and he made a plea to Strictly producers to ensure future contestants don't struggle the same way. Following a series of scandals centering around Italian pros Giovanni Pernas and Graziano Di Prima, he warned that bosses must be more honest with the public about the rigors. He told The Telegraph, you're asking somebody who has never danced before to go and dance in front of 12 million people and to actually be half decent at it. The pros are professional athletes, and it's really difficult to get to a standard which is acceptable. I found the program to be really positive for me, but I think from a BBC perspective they have to sort it out, he declared. You don't want somebody to go on it and feel the way that some of those people have felt. While he urged those in charge to address the outstanding issues, he encouraged that he believes they are doing their best to deal with them. He added that he believes the show is strong enough to survive the storm. Predicting the future for the fraud show, he concluded, it's not about turning strictly into SAS, who dares wins, but I think what we might see is a bit more this is quite difficult, my leg is hurting this week, because it is hard for someone in their 50s to get thrown around in the air. It's not a case of that being hidden before, but I think there will just be a bit more honesty with the public about the rigors of Strictly and how hard it is. Last year, Love Islander Zara McDermott danced through the agonizing pain of a broken leg as she struggled to get to grips with the technical routines. Meanwhile, Sherlock actress Amanda Abington says she had a case of mild PTSD after appearing on the show, and called for a probe into her 2023 partner Giovanni Pernas's conduct behind the scenes. The results of that are yet to be released, but Graziano Di Prima was axed from the show for gross misconduct after kicking partner Zara last year. He later claimed that it was an accident and that had intended to kick the floor in frustration as he struggled over a difficult lift, as he appealed to fans with the words, I'm not a monster. Strictly bosses have since announced the introduction of chaperones during rehearsals in a bid to make relationships between celebs and pros run more smoothly. Meanwhile, earlier this year Dan said he had his own tough experiences during his time on BBC Breakfast, when he used to cry in the toilets over the sleep deprivation caused by 3am starts.